Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are not going to talk about a voice therapy technique but we are going to understand one of the voice pathologies before we move on to treatment for that pathology and that pathology is nothing but muscle tension dysphonia. Muscle tension dysphonia very popularly abbreviated as MTD. What exactly is muscle tension dysphonia? What are the causes, types and symptoms is all that we are going to talk about in this video. So let's get started with what exactly is muscle tension dysphonia. It's a vo vocal pathology in which you will see that the person has dysphonia that is a voice disorder arising mainly because of excessive muscle tension. Now this muscle tension is more than what is acceptable for a laryngeal system and not just laryngeal the recent uh, literature has suggested that it's not just the laryngeal system which is extremely under pressure but it's even the respiratory system that has excessive tension. So an overall increased amount of tension leading to voice problem is called as muscle tension dysphonia. There are two types of MTD primary and secondary. When I say primary, it simply means that the vocal, uh, the voice problem is without any vocal cord pathology. So on stroboscopy, on laryngoscopy, you will see that the vocal folds are completely normal. There is a, uh, absolutely no problem like nodule, polyps or anything as such. And in th those cases, if the patient is still having symptoms as we will discuss in the later part of this video, and you diagnose it as having primary muscle tension dysphonia. Secondary muscle tension dysphonia is when MTD is secondary to a vocal cord pathology. So there already is a vocal cord pathology like vocal nodule, polyp and uh, any other hyperfunction disorder. And because of that pathology, now the patient is uh, manifesting symptoms similar to MTD. So in this case, MTD is the comorbidity arising or it's a uh, outcome or we can say it's an outcome of the compensatory techniques used by that patient for the primary uh, illness and because of that now he has developed these techniques of talking that has led to another illness which is called as muscle tension dysphonia. Now these are the types and what exactly it is, how exactly it happens. So the most controversial question is what causes MTD and there are multiple reasons and multiple factors that can cause MTD. Some are psychological in nature and some are physical in nature. Very easy to outline is the secondary MTD is mainly caused by the underlying pathology because whenever there is a vocal nodule, vocal polyp or any of such condition, the patient is finding it hard to produce the voice. As a result, what he or she does is he puts a lot of effort on the vocal mechanism to produce that minimal amount of voice. And in that bargain, what happens is the muscle tension increases. But when we talk about primary MTD, there absolutely is no such one-to-one -one cause to associate. It has uh, proven in uh, and it has been uh, cited in literature that there are multiple causes. So it can be from an allergy, it can be uh, post illness, it can be after uh, upper respiratory tract infection, it can be even as a reaction to certain psychological things like anxiety, stress and other things in which the entire body is having some amount of excessive tension and it's even on the vocal tract and the respiratory system and in those cases you will see that the patient is having really problem with the voice also now when the patient comes to you what exactly do you see so you see a condition which is very similar to a voice which is having if imagine a voice which is having hyperfunction like symptoms so something like the patient will not be able to sustain a phonation for really long the larynx will be really elevated high in the neck because of the excessive tension with which it is held. The perceptual quality of the voice would be something like strained, strangulated. You'll feel that the person is really putting effort to produce that amount of sound. There will also be a lot of uh, uh, what you will feel like at the, by the end of the sentence. The patient is really, really trying to you know complete a sentence and talking on the residual air, something like this. Also, there are multiple different uh, symptoms you will see if in case of secondary MTD wherein there is already a pre-existing pathology and MTD is a, uh, a secondary thing. So what you see is that in case of nodules and polyps, there is already breathiness and hoarseness and because of uh, that, patient has tried to produce a louder voice and MTD has set in. So it's the breathy and the hoarse voice of the primary pathology 
and because of MTD, you will see that there is even more amount of tension in the vocal mechanism. So the overall picture of the voice quality goes for a toss. So it's a condition which is very difficult to diagnose and there is no one particular way in which you can diagnose it. You need to definitely take into consideration a detailed case history. You need to even consider the findings which are there on the laryngoscopy. Perceptual voice evaluation and your instrumental voice evaluation all taken together will give you an idea that maybe this person not, not having any vocal cord pathology but these are the symptoms which we see. So it should ring a bell that probably it's muscle tension dysphonia. And also its prevalence is really high in other age groups also. It's around 50% of prevalence rate is there. So it's really quite common to have uh, MTD. And unfortunately, sometimes you miss out on diagnosis of this because there's no actual like a method of diagnosis for it. And there's no visual pathology. So it's quite difficult to diagnose and understand. But having understood that what exactly is MTD, causes, types and symptoms, the next video shall be talking about the treatment for MTD. So stay tuned and I hope you learned something new. Bye-bye.